Giant, it is venomous and it appears at times to fly and it has moved into Massachusetts. This Joro spider is now making itself at home on Beacon Hill. Now, for months, experts warned us that the invasive species was creeping north. And here's why the arachnids make some people anxious. A Juro spider can grow up to five inches long, roughly the size of the average woman's hand. And as WBZ's Brandon Truett reports, it's not the only reason why the spider is spinning a web of intrigue in Boston. Beacon Hill is known for its epic Halloween decorations, and a lot of people thought that's what this was. But tonight, a rare spider is making its New England debut. I think that it's a pretty beautiful spider. So seeing a spider that's the same color as the leaves on the trees right now is a little wacky. There's a new neighbor in town, and whether or not it's welcome depends on who you ask. Yeah, and it's hard to see because it is blended in there. Blended in, but its web is hard to miss. This Juro spider is native to Eastern Asia. It made its first appearance in the U.S. in 2014 down in Georgia, but has since headed north. Part of the web goes all the way up to the branch in that tree. Claudia Liberatore lives in the home behind where this Juro has set up shop, causing folks like Dan Roberts to stop in their tracks. And that's pretty much a baby compared to what we see at home. If the accent didn't give it away, Roberts is from Australia. For him, this itsy bitsy spider is a walk in the park. I had one at home that I used to catch moths and throw it in and feed it to until it got really, really big. They're very slow moving and they're very gentle. So I actually feel totally comfortable putting it in my hand without a glove. Jessica Garb is a biology professor at UMass Lowell. She says the juros have been accidentally transferred, but the real question is whether they'll be able to procreate and stick around. Even though they are not dangerous to people, it is a concern when we have um, non-native species, you know, establishing populations and displacing potentially native species. So there's really a web of lies circulating online about these spiders. I am told by biologists that the juros are venomous, but they offer no threat to humans. They also say it's likely there are several others already lurking around. In Beacon Hill, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.